and we're back. So this is June for Journey yet again and this is after round one of chemo. So we went and we did blood draws for those two weeks out after that new last shot because you have to wait three-ish weeks between rounds of chemo. So we were home for two weeks. It was the most incredible two weeks ever except for the coronavirus went crazy. My son got basically kicked out of school. So then we were just a family of three, home all alone. Woo -hoo! Well, not a family of three. We have three kids. They're a family of five. <laughs> so everybody was home at this point because of Corona. Yay, Corona. But on the 20th, while we were home, her hair started falling out. And that was some intense stuff. For my mama heart, that was some pretty hard stuff. And after two days of it falling out, we just went ahead and we buzzed her head. And that was a lifesaver. It seriously made me feel so much better about the whole situation. I highly encourage you, if you're going through chemo or cancer, just shave your darn head. Because finding little strands of hair every time you look at yourself is the most heartbreaking thing ever. Like, literally, it crushed my soul that any time I touched her, I was covered in her hair. So, I just, I couldn't handle that. I shaved it off. Okay, so... On the 20th, her hair fell out and we shaved it. We went back on the 23rd and we did labs just like we had on the 16th. So those two weeks, we did labs and her labs came back good. She didn't need transfusions or anything. Her ANC was kind of up and down in and that's pretty normal. Like I said, they gave her the last step before we went home. So that really helps kind of boost them. And that's a, kind of like a long-term acting shot to help rise her levels faster. So. On 3.30, we went to the hospital for round two of chemo. And she gets two doses a day of the same material as round one of chemo. And thanks to corona, only one parent could stay with the child. So, me being stubborn, I chose to stay with Juniper. And I made Katie stay too because she's breastfeeding. So, I couldn't be separated from her. Well, Daddy came home with Bub. And that just didn't work well. Juniper had a really rough time. I had a really rough time trying to handle both girls by myself. And we couldn't leave the room because of everything going on with Corona and because of her getting chemo and everything. So, on the first, I made it two days by myself. But on the first, Dad came and we switched out. And for the rest of that round, he was with her. And like I said, everything really actually pretty much went smooth. With round two, she kind of started having accidents because of the fluids. And because where the tumor is located inside of her, it pushes kind of on her kidneys because it's on the adrenal gland, which is on top of your kidneys. So she started having accidents. And we have, at this point, we have gone to just letting her wear pull-ups. But she was in the hospital from the 30th to the 3rd. And then she had to get another transfusion. And then we were sent home. And I'll tell you what happens next if you follow along because we're getting ready for do, do, do stem cell harvest. So thanks for watching and the next video will be about stem cell harvest and what you do leading up to it and what's going to happen whenever it goes down.